They said, well, you just do whatever you think you need to feel like doing. I said, okay. I stood up and just started praying. I just don't feel right. Uh, amen. When I start feeling the Lord uh, and just to sit there and do nothing. Amen. Uh, I like to be expressive, if you will. Amen. I like to feel God. I like to know. Uh, I like to let everybody know that I'm glad to be there. Uh, amen. There's an old song that I used to sing. Uh, amen. It just says, uh, I went to visit a church and it was quiet as it could be. There was nobody praising the Lord. Nobody but me. Amen. But they, they said I was emotional and at times I fell out of place. Amen. But when I go to church I don't just come come to take up space. I'm just warming up. I'll tell you what one of these days when I get to heaven it's going to be a different story Sister Dorothy. Amen. I feel like everybody's going to be crying standing. Amen. Shouting for joy. Neither at the feet of Jesus. Amen. I don't know about you. Amen. But I don't want to I want to give God what He deserves without any reserves. Amen. He showers us with blessing and we ought to shower Him with praise. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. Let's give God the glory. Amen. I hope God never looks down. Amen. On the people of this church, of this place and wonders where the lack of praise is or the loss of praise uh, when we should lavish it upon him uh, when we should pray lift him up uh, and praise the name of the Lord uh, hallelujah God looks at our life uh, amen and he says hey I brought you out of the pit uh, amen I turned your sorrow into singing uh, hey why aren't you uh, why aren't you praising me uh, amen why doesn't your life bring me praise uh, hey why don't you testify every once in a while amen glory to God why don't you say how I had this lady? I love to death. She has a little. She had some things, you know, that she was working through. Amen. And there were there were times I trying to get her to testify. And she had a hard time doing it. And for what she said, I just don't know what to say. Well, we just, I just kept, you know, talking to her about it. One night, she stood up and began to tell what she felt like God was doing. That, amen. I, I just say, like, if you can't testify among those who know exactly what you're talking about, amen. How are you going to testify out there? Amen. To this old world. Amen. Amen. But where is the praise? Amen. That God deserves. Amen. I'm, I feel like I'm guilty a lot, don't you? Amen. I'm not giving God enough praise. At Psalms 47, the Lord gives us a command. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. That word clap there, it, 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 yeah, it means a clap. But uh, there's some other meanings that go along with that. Uh, amen. By analogy, that word clap there means to drive a nail uh, or a tip pin or a dart or something. Uh, it means to take something sharp and drive it into something else. Uh, amen. By implication, uh, amen, it's, it, it can mean a bondsman, hand, uh, hand clasping, uh, grabbing a hold uh, of another hand. It can mean to blow uh, as in a trumpet. Uh, amen. It's, it's, it's a set it's a sure sound is what I'm trying to say tonight. Uh, amen. It, it's a sure sound. Uh, it's a bonding thing. Uh, amen. It's not we we, uh, we treat it like it's a time keeping device. Uh, amen. But our bodies are instruments uh, under praise tonight. Uh, amen. We get that word shout there. Amen. It, it, it's, it's, it's more than just a loud noise. Amen. It can mean to blow an alarm. Something ear piercing. Now, I don't necessarily encourage that. Amen. We used to call some some folks that scream in church, you know, which is uh, well. When, whenever they started uh, shouting, they some of them, especially the ladies, sometimes would scream, and uh, we called them screamers, you know. And uh, in fact, for one time, a guy asked me, he said, do you think screaming's biblical? <laughs> so I have no idea. I'm not getting in the middle of that. But, uh, but it was so loud. It's ear piercing. And, uh, and, and just kind of catch you off guard, you know. Whoa, what's going on over there? I thought maybe somebody got, 
got uh, cut or something. But uh, uh, but that sounds shout. Uh, it, it can mean the same thing. It's a strike. Uh, amen. It has uh, uh, it's to destroy or make a joyful noise. Uh, the sound of alarm. Uh, amen. Then there's that word triumph there. Uh, amen. Which is uh, properly a, a shrill sound. Uh, it's, a, it's a cry of gladness, of joy, of rejoicing or shout. It's, a, it's a, with a shout of triumph. Uh, to be a loud uh, with a sure sound uh, of victory. Amen. Uh, it's, a, it's joy. It brings a it's not a, it's not a, a, a war prize uh, as an evil uh, or hate, uh, but it's a sound of victory, uh, of joy. Uh, amen. Beyond belief. Uh, amen. It seems like at times that uh, our only sounds, uh, amen, in, are in the money service. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody ever been in a money service before? That's where your testimonies don't have the test uh, money part. They're just monies. <laughs> Amen. Well, the devil's been on my back. Trying to hold me back all week. Or this is how, you know, the, oh, they'll say, well, I'm glad to be saved. Uh, Amen. But I'm really struggling. I need you to pray. Well, that's fine. We, we need you to pr- uh, We want to pray for you. Amen. But sometimes it feels like the only voice, uh, the only shout that we're hearing uh, is not one of triumph, but it's almost one of defeat. Uh, amen. God's children are a victorious people. Amen. God's children. Uh, amen. God's church is a glorious church. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. And we can sing praise in the middle of any type of problem tonight. Hallelujah. We don't have a right to remain silent. Amen. The citizens of Feldkirk, Austria, didn't know what to do. Napoleon's massive army was preparing to attack. The soldiers had been spotted on the heights above the little town, which was situated on the Austrian border. A council of citizens was hastily summoned to decide whether they should try to defend themselves or whether they should display the white flag of surrender. It happened to be Easter Sunday and the people had gathered in the local church and the pastor rose and said, Friends, we've been counting on our own strength and apparently that has failed. As this is the day of our Lord's resurrection, let us just ring the bells have our service as usual and leave the matter in God's hands. We know only our weakness and not the power of God to defend us. So the council accepted his plan and the church bells rang. Meanwhile, the enemy, hearing the sudden peal of the church bells, uh, concluded that the Austrian army had arrived during the night uh, to defend the little town of Feldkirk. Uh, And before the service ended, the enemy broke camp uh, and left. Uh, Amen. Praise is powerful. Uh, Amen. Praise promotes. Uh, Amen. Prevents and persuades. Uh, Amen. And uh, we can lift our voice. Uh, The Bible says to exchange. Amen. Uh, Our spirit of heaviness uh, for a garment of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says if we hold our peace, the rocks would cry out. Amen. Hallelujah. Israel at the Red Sea. We find that they waited until after first they complained. Then God turned their sorrow, amen, into singing on the other side of the river. Amen. They played a song of praise. Uh, We don't have a right to be silent tonight, uh, amen, because, uh, amen, God has a right of ownership on our life. Amen. Verse, before I go there, let me tell you this. uh, A friend of mine was telling me, he said, I was talking to a friend today, and he said, how can I keep quiet, uh, amen, about such a great gift like like the gift of salvation. Uh, he said, I've been given large gifts before and I couldn't wait to tell anybody. He man, I couldn't keep quiet. Uh, and this man said, uh, he said, the doctor told us that our boy wouldn't even live to the age of three. Uh, but he said in October, he will be eight years old. How can I keep quiet? Uh, he really
realize in that moment, uh, by the grace of God, uh, he didn't have a right to, to remain silent. Uh, you and I don't have a right. To, amen. Because God owns us. Uh, what? Uh, know ye not that the temple of the Holy Ghost, that your body uh, is the temple of the Holy Ghost, uh, which is in you, uh, which you have of God, uh, and ye are not at your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, uh, which are God's. Uh, amen. He created us. He redeems us. Uh, and because of this, He has a right of expectation. First Chronicles 16, Psalms 29 and Psalms 96 says there is a statement that says... Give unto the Lord glory that is due unto His name. Amen. It is not glory or praise uh, that we ought to give or could give. Or, but it is praise uh, that is due Him. It is owed unto Him. Amen. He owns us. He gives us. Uh, he brought us life. Uh, and He has the right to expect from us praise. Amen. Amen. I don't always understand why people want to be reserved. I've heard it from folks. Well, I'm just not an exuberant person, but I've watched their eyes light up and them get excited telling a good hunting story. But yet, when it comes to the Lord, they're not that emotional, they say. I don't understand why we have to be reserved. Amen. Amen. I believe if we serve a living God, he ought to receive a living praise. Amen. Paul Revere couldn't be quiet about the British, how the British were coming. And one of these days, there's one greater than the British ever could have hoped to be. Amen. His name's Jesus. And Jesus is coming. Amen. Jesus is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We pay our dues every month to the car payment. Amen. To the house payment. To the insurance company. Because they provide coverage. Amen. And you and I think. Amen. That God deserves less. Amen. Than a few words. Amen. When it comes. Amen. All that he's given us. All that he's supplied for us. All that he's brought us out of. Uh, I find when I try uh, to remain silent, uh, amen, something starts bubbling up. Uh, amen. It's hard to hold it in. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, amen. Amen. I realize tonight I don't have a right. Come get me a song, sweetheart. Hallelujah. I don't want my praise to be found missing to you. Amen. There's power in praise. Glory to God. Amen. If we're going to have mentioned it at first, if we're going to have revival, if we're going to have the presence of the Lord, we must have praise. Amen. The Lord inhabits the praises of His people. Hallelujah. There's an old story I want to tell you. Amen. It said that once a guy by the name of Sir Michael Costa was having a rehearsal with a vast array of performers on the stage uh, and hundreds of voices. Uh, and uh, as the mighty chorus rang out in that practice session uh, with the thunder of the organ, with the drum beating, uh, amen, they had the trumpets and the horns playing, uh, the cymbals clashing, uh, some man uh, who played a little instrument called a piccolo uh, far away was sitting way back up in the corner uh, as all of that began to play and the voices began to sing. Uh, amen. Uh, and he said within himself, in all of this noise, it matters not what I do. And so he ceased to play the piccolo. He just pretended to play. And, but suddenly that conductor, Sir Michael Costa, he stopped, uh, raised his hands, uh, amen, and, and stopped all the music. Uh, and when it was all quiet, uh, he cried with a loud voice, where is the piccolo? Amen. Uh, maybe nobody else heard him. Uh, maybe that man thought his praise was insignificant. Uh, amen. But in that moment, uh, when that great conductor was listening, uh, he was listening for that little voice. Uh, and 
And when he didn't hear it, it was important enough to stop. And in his mind, all was spoiled because the piccolo failed to take up his part. And you and I tonight, we've got a great high priest, a great king, a great lover of worship. And he's listening for your voice. He's listening for my voice. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so.